mechanics, neurosurgeons, tattoo artists. Uh, they really enjoy having people just observe. hovering, hovering yeah. right there, observing yeah. all their work. Exactly, and kind of criticizing because I have no idea what to do or how to do any of this. But I want to make sure he knows what he's doing. Yeah. So you like so, question everything he does. Yeah, yeah. I want to make sure. Hey, did you take that off right? Are you going to bolt it in the star pattern, kind of like lug nuts? Right. You know because. You know, he's been doing this a long time, and I just want to make sure because you kind of, you know, you, you develop bad habits. So. You do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here in the service department area. Today we're doing a performance upgrade on Andrew's Road King. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen his Road King on various videos we've had on the channel already. But today we're doing an SNS cam upgrade with a tuner on here. So Andrew's bike already has a stage four Screaming Eagle kit. So the bike started off as a 107. It's a 114 now with the larger bore cylinders on there and the CNC ported heads, all Screaming Eagle stuff. But Andrew wanted to give it a little bit more of that low end torquey power right out of the hole. So we hit up our boys over at SNS and they're hooking us up with the cam. We got a box of horsepower here. Fresh <laughs> shipment from SNS. You can see the box trying to trying to leave. Oh man. my we gotta gosh. open the contents. Mm. New Harley parts. Oh you know where they're made. They're red, white, and blue. Yeah. That's what I wanted. That's all we care about. Yes, yes throw this stuff it, away. Dude. Oh yeah, there's your oil pump. Oh, this is this is what's gonna oh, send you to the lower plate. ranks right here, dude. This little box here, it's gonna bump them numbers. This is what's gonna make all the dudes gather around my bike. See what you really want in this lovely state of California, and you get the privilege of breathing our clean, fresh air. Brought to you by the California Air and Resource Board approved oh, this tuner. There you go. So you always keep it legal, though, right? I keep it legal 100. percent My you status were... here in the United States <laughs> and my motorcycle here is all legal. I'm leaving. You're always on the up and up. I'm always on the up and up. Okay. So with that sticker, it allows you to run and change your tuning. Your air to fuel mixture. Nice. Brought to you by Dino Jet Power Vision. So, what are you hoping to get out of this kit? Um, honestly speaking, stage four on this uh, Screaming Eagle kit is awesome. It's cool for what we do. I just want more torque. I want more of that snappy twin cam feel. If if you're smelling what I'm stepping in, the cam profile on the stage four kit, red lines higher. This is going to gain more of that low end power and more of that lower RPM range. So. You just want that idle lope, I think. And I really want that idle lope. You know, Steve has it in his bike, and uh, it just sounds amazing. John Terrado, level four beard, master technician on the job once again. I'm sure you guys have seen him on the channel before. He's gonna be opening up the cam chest and we're gonna be swapping this thing out. So, all right, there's Andrew bringing us the SNS goods right there. Andrew, what do we got, dude? We got a box of torque. <laughs> oh, look at that. Dude, it's been shaking this whole time. Oh, it it's just ready needs, to get out of there. It's ready to jump out of this thing. Dude, it's ready to just put some extra performance John, you, into that thing. Can you, easy, easy. Can you take this thing? Dang, dude, it's ready to bust out of there. Oh, oh. Dude, can a level four beard handle that? <laughs> 
So the last couple of years, we've been a little bit constrained as to what we can do. Harley-Davidson doesn't have any of their tuners in the last two model years, carb compliant. So since we live in California, we have a lot more strict rules. And so as far as performance work goes, there's been a big void. We can't do any performance work basically on the 21 or 22 model year motorcycles. It isn't Harley-Davidson's fault. Harley-Davidson's filed all the paperwork to get the compliance all certified and everything. It's just California takes their sweet time. Anybody that wants to do performance stuff, your hands are tied. And so pretty awesome that we have this stuff from SNS that is California compliant. So we can have our technicians here at the shop do it and everything's on the up and up. So what, what cam is this? Uh, it is the 475C. C stands for chain. So chain driven cam. For the 475, I've heard the cam before. I've ridden that cam in, in other bikes and it really does perform really well. And I'm hoping this kind of mixture that I'm going with, this flavor here is gonna work for my bike because my bike is a stage four Screaming Eagle kit. So the bike was originally a 107 from the factory. When my dad first purchased this bike, it was uh, installed with a stage four kit. So it bumped it up and the stage four has the bigger jugs, higher compression, bigger throttle body, bigger injectors. And of course the CNC ported head paired with that stage four cam from Screaming Eagle is actually a power cam. So the power really comes alive around 4,500 RPM to red line, which is about 65, which is great. It, it works really well. It's fast. It has more of that top end feel, but I do kind of miss that low end kind of snap of the throttle, tilt your head back when you snap that throttle kind of power. So uh, this is a big reason kind of why I'm going with that is changing out that cam. Uh, to give you more of that low-end torque so i'm excited to see how this combination is going to work out and everything so nice all right john so it looks like you cut the push rod tubes you took off the uh exhaust gonna take the cam compartment cover off and then uh start pulling out the cam plate and uh, the oil pump and cams and then clean everything up and then we'll start uh assembling the new product I, I didn't see you grab the instructions, John. I you just, forgot to write them in your office. Yeah. yeah. First open the box. Installation of uh, SNS oil pumps for 2017 up Milwaukee 8 engine. I just know if you just kind of skim through this real quick, but I, I'll leave it right here, dude. You need to you know, kind of resort back to it. Right. Taking out the old oil pump. So what John's doing right now is he's, in, he's inspecting the previous cam for any scars, any kind of lacerations, uh, anything that him or his beard may or may not like. He's checking the, the depth of the metal, the structural integrity, maybe the metal's porous and maybe weak from this overheating. Is one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is no. Is that rider air? It's probably the abusive riding, I would say, right? That you probably. see that mark right there? That's from sitting at red line. Like ride it exactly. Like like how I would steal it. Yeah. If I stole it and I had to get away, I'd ride it just like that. How are the tappets, John? They look okay. I'm just making sure the all the roller bearings are in there and stuff. And just, but everything looks okay. Oh we got Steve Garcia here. Oh, I'm just trying to be like me again? Yeah. SNS? SNS. I saw Steve do it, so I had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think John needs three people looking over his shoulder on this build here. We, need, we should get more. Yeah, come right in over here. <laughs> Don't mix them up, okay? We want to make sure we put the new one in. You see the lobes are more, these are more pointed. Higher duration for the SNS? Yeah. Yours is California legal, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll let you guys go. We run a very green friendly shop. Chopper Miho, best detailer on the West Coast right there. You hurry up, John, we want to ride it, dude. Yeah, hurry up. Yeah. Come on, I want to hear this thing. <laughs> uh, I put the new bearing in the freezer, so the coldness contract the material so it's easier to press in. A little yeah, old so school trick that I learned from one of the old guys. So. Old school tricks of the trade? Yeah. That's an extra little bonus tip right there. Freeze your cam bearing. How's this work so far, Steve? Is it up good. to par? Yeah. Have you been happy with John's performance back here in the service department? Yes. I love John. He's my favorite. And he also has a nice body. For those of you at home who don't know what a Flying Dutchman is, at In-N-Out, 
John's body, he's like the liver king. He just eats straight like meat and proteins. Flying, Flying Dutchman at In N Out is two patties, two pieces of cheese. You can add kind of whatever you want, but he just he overloads on protein every lunch. Does he eat that like every day? Pretty much. How many how many Flying Dutchmans do you eat a week, John? He, 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 he at least eats count. half a cow a week. He eats so many, he lost count. Six patties. Six, six patties, six every, patties lunch. every lunch. Yeah. So every he time eats, he goes to lunch, he's eating six hamburger patties. So that's three flying Dutchmen every time yeah. he sits down mm -hmm. in and out. Goes straight to his triceps. You see the tricep here? Connects to the upper dorsal. All right, you're, you're pressing in the new bearing, John? Yes. All right. But I got to get it out of the freezer first. You got like a little jig here that lines you up perfect. Back in my day, we used to use a 19 inch socket, just hammer the bearing in. You kids and your unions. Good enough for government work. Fast as tech, dude. Let's take it out in the track. Lifter guide. So this kit here comes with the updated aluminum lifter guides. So as John just kind of whispered over to me, he's not a really big camera guy. John likes staying behind the scenes and kind of doing all the work and making us look good. You normally don't have to take off lifter block covers, uh, but mine, this kit here comes with a new aluminum one. Okay. Do you know how to open up the package at least? I do. I do. Okay. You can tell these are aluminum because they are not magnetic. Oh, that's science. It's science, bitch. Science, bitch. All the hardware your heart will ever need. Assembly lube, which hasn't been opened yet, John. That's the reason why it hasn't been opened yet. Okay, that's fine. Remember, lefty loosey. Yeah, lefty Lucy, righty tidy. Is oh, my yeah. bike going to be faster than yours, John? Probably. He doesn't like that. Those are the lifter guys. Which are, Which are plastic. The one that comes in the SNS kit is aluminum. Moving up the can, John, or what? Yes. I always want to make sure your shaft is lube. Excuse me? Uh, you always want to make sure your shaft is lube before you stick it in to the motor. If you go in dry, you can cause extra friction and in return causing damage, unwanted damage to both the shaft and the orifice that it is being shoved into. What he's doing right now is, with a little bit of assembly lube, he's Lubing up the shaft, making sure all sides, all contact points are freshly lubed. Both shafts. Everything. Don't make eye contact. Lubrication is key. Sourhead's bang. Get him a bang, dude. He's doing all this hard work. Oh, uh, absolutely. Back here. You want me to bang you up? Yeah, bang bang, bang him. Bang him for sure. Uh, I'm going to be checking once I get them all in. I'm going to be rotating and make sure that these drop evenly and then we torque these down because it's not torqued right now. That's the main thing is making sure there's no binding going on with this new uh, SNS aluminum lifter guide. One minute John's lubing shafts, the next minute he wants a bang. You always got to take care of your technician. So these are the SNS tappets here? Yes. Dropping in. What are some of the differences, John? Right there, that's the difference. You got two uh, scavenge pumps. So there's, there's two, two scavenge pumps on the scavenge SNS gears. Two scavenge gears on the SNS oil pump, as opposed to the factory, pretty much, right? That's just yeah. a stock oil pump on mine. Yes. Uh, the factory oil pump only having one scavenge gear. So you just uh, adding some extra lubrication on there, John? Yeah, and just. Assembly move on everything. Say that again. It's just hard to explain the feeling that you get, like that, that I get 
knowing that I have upgraded parts in this motor. But it does feel like uh, Christmas morning at the orphanage. All right, I got the oil pump in there. How are we doing on time, John? Good. All right, more lubrication there on the cam plate. They're labeled. Yeah. There's one. There's, there's numbers and there's also letters. So. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Can we run this possibly without the cover? Yeah. He's torquing everything to spec. I'm really keeping a close eye on him. So. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad I can leave you here to make sure he's doing the right. Yeah. What's the torque spec on that, John? 90 to 120 inch pounds. It's inch pounds, right? Yes. That snap on or harbor freight? Oh, snap on, baby. Dude, John's a snap on guy. <laughs> a snap on. We got a couple comments in the last video. People were asking what kind of tools John was using. I said, dude, snap on or bust, man. Finance that torque wrench for 20 bucks a week for the next 32 years. Day two of the cam install. Gonna so finish excited, her off man. today. I'm so excited. I, I posted a couple of pictures on Instagram, and everyone who runs this kit, S and S stuff, are just super happy. They're all gonna say you're gonna love it. So I'm really excited. It's Pretty gonna breathe nasty. a lot better. It's gonna have a lot more torque. So you got a road rage, right? Pipe? Yeah, it's a road rage three two into one, um, which I've heard from a lot of people in the industry that have full length, these Milwaukee 8s, they love back pressure. From what I've heard and what's been circulating around the industry, a full length two into one is one of the best setups for the Milwaukee 8. Yeah. John's got my back on this one. Yeah, and if it goes bad, we're just gonna blame yeah. it on John. Yeah, it's John, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, where are we at? Dude, what are we picking up here? What do we gotta do? We gotta throw in the push rods and the, the cover there? Yeah, I'm gonna do, uh, so, Earlier today, based out the two pulleys so they align correctly, so that the teeth match up evenly, so the chain runs straight. So reusing the stock chain and gears. Yeah, so then you're just gonna make sure the timing marks line up. Foot count? Yeah. John's got a good elbow gauge, but Calibrated elbow. Very, very well calibrated elbow, but he's going with the real thing this time. Fresh gasket. Yeah. All comes in the kit, baby. And they think of everything over at SNS, don't they? Proven performance, man. So every uh, push rod is different for thread pitch and so. On uh, s and it says four full turns. You know, I, they're pumped up, they came in oil, and then I put oil in them also. Uh, basically expanding the push rod, brings the lifter down into its spec, and that's by how many turns. And then now it's pressing the valve open, and so you gotta wait until the lifter bleeds down, and then be able to rotate these by hand. So this one's already going, a little bit more for that one and then be able to rotate the motor over to the top dead center compression for the next cylinder and then repeat the process. Sounds complicated. No, it's not really. <laughs> Finding top dead center. Josh going back on, baby. All these 
stinky old parts. I just uh, finished putting the exhaust on, torqued everything down, and then uh, primed the oil pump and lifters. And then now I'm getting ready to uh, install the new tuner with the supplied download. Just clean the intake filter. Having that drying out over there on the fan. All right, so John just plugged in the dyno jet, kind of programming it. Is it downloading a tune? Yeah, it's rewriting the ECM. Rewrite that ECM, baby. All right, install is complete. First startup. Let's hear this puppy purr. Baby, I like it.
Dude, so tell me the main differences between the cam you had in there before and the S and S cam. Ah, uh, torque. The way the power is delivered, and it feels like your right hand is more directly connected to the rear wheel. Stage four cam, it definitely has its purpose. The, the power band comes in at a higher RPM, which is what is intended for. But this cam here, this setup, it just sounds amazing. It works really well. It's just instant power. There's less downshifting. I mean, even at idle, it's top five best idles and it, it sounds so good. It's it's up there with some of my favorite sounds like a World War II Warbird or like a cammed small block Chevy that is carbureted. You know, this, those sounds just sound so amazing. So definitely having a lot of fun with this. It's a really fun power plant. It, it kind of, it makes the Milwaukee 8 feel like more of a twin cam, if that makes any sense. Kind of more sporadic, more raw feeling. It, it with that tuner, the, the tuner that is provided with the kit, it changes the idle, changes the startup, just the characteristics of the motor just change a little bit in, in a really good way. So if you're someone that's looking for seat of the pants torque and just crack the throttle to go, this, this kit is absolutely phenomenal. It sounds good, it works really well, and it's made by s and who've been around for years and years, and I really enjoy this kit and uh, this cam, it's just, it's awesome.